our knowledge of the genetic basis of melanoma has really increased over the past decade. And this is important um, mostly because it can actually help to guide therapy should you have an advanced melanoma. Um, so one of the important things is, you know, when, when should my melanoma um, undergo genetic testing? Um, why would my doctor decide to get genetic testing on my melanoma? In general, that's going to be done when it's going to impact therapy or the treatments you might get. The most important gene that we test for is a mutation in one called BRAF. So this is a gene that about half of melanomas will carry a BRAF mutation. And there are drugs um, that are used to treat that specifically target the BRAF mutation. And so if you have melanoma that has spread beyond the skin and your doctor decides that you need um, treatment for that, one of the first things that they'll do is look for a BRAF mutation because they will oftentimes start with one that targets that mutation if you carry it, which is true for about half of people. Um, in general, this isn't done for every melanoma. So if you have a thin melanoma and the plan is just to remove it in the office, it hasn't spread, um, it's not helpful necessarily to get that genetic test. Now, if um, a melanoma is removed in the office, there's no evidence that it's spread, but a year or two later, um, you are found to have a metastasis of that melanoma. At that point, genetic testing can be done. It can be done on the melanoma that um, you had biopsied a year ago, those, that tissue was saved. It can also be done if, for example, there's a positive lymph node and that contains melanoma, um, genetic testing can be done on that. And so again, we use this to guide therapy. Um, BRAF is the most common mutation that we see. There are others that we can see. Um, one is CKIT. We see CKIT mutations um, in sometimes specialized melanoma, ones that occur in what we call mucosal surfaces, things like inside the mouth. Um, we also see this in melanomas that occur on some very sun damaged skin or on the hands and feet. There are certain drugs that can target CKIT. So knowing this mutation is present may help to guide your oncologist in picking the right therapy for you. Um, we, um, in general, the other mutations that we um, may look for are, um, we talked about CDK and 2 a mutations within melanoma that would suggest um, that this may be a familial melanoma, but it could also just suggest that that's a mutation that developed in that lesion, but not one that you carry in the rest of your cells. Um, other genes that are implicated in the development and progression or sort of um, uh, worsening of melanoma are NRAS, one called GNAC, and then there's other um, genes called MAP kinase, um, and then others that we know are involved in things like signaling inside the cell um, and the survival of, uh, of a tumor cell. So healthy cells should live and then eventually die. Tumor cells will continue to live on and on and don't die when they should appropriately.